So besides playing that song, I wanted to show off this banjo. This is David Oakes again, and he's taken a Stratocaster neck. Uh, I don't think it's a regular Strat. I think it's, you know, sort of one of those uh, Japanese copies or, you know. And then he's made a, added, you know, a nice Dobson heel on the thing. But again, he's taken one of these wider necks and left it nice and wide for me. So this is, oh, that's much better. So right down here, this is a little under an inch and a half wide, if you can imagine. I mean, it's just, uh, it couldn't be more fun. You know, I added a scoop onto this neck. And then he's put this onto a nice 1920s pot. And originally, this pot was set up with, you can see there's a rim in here. So originally that rim was the other way around. We, and we thought that we'd get more tone out of it like, the, like a Dobson tone ring if it was sitting on that curvy bit. Originally it was on this curvy bit here. And you can see when you look at the side that the the metal things were the other way around. Uh, Dave has done this wonderful thing of finding the old Ashbourne uh, style tensioners and uh, machining that shape. So this has the, this wonderful... Oh, and then because, remember, again and again, we're, we're talking about keeping this wide. So look what he's done here. He's made this really incredibly nice wide tailpiece. And see how that bridge is right near that tailpiece? That's where all that tone is coming from. So there's nothing on the inside of this thing. There's no wood. Uh, but there's a few different things that I'm really after. One is to have this width. And the other is to have, look at the height on these strings, which is when you're using nylon gut strings to have a high action is not as scary as you think. I've said this to a few of the manufacturers and they, you know, they don't, uh, they don't think it's so good, but it's, it's, uh, it sounds better in the, in the playing. Um, the other thing we did here was uh, this time, Ended up saying, let's go ahead and get the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the Gato or the go, Gota, I don't know. But, you know, the fancier geared pegs. Again, let me turn that towards the light. So, I'm sorry, I've done a lot of this uh, not having it so right in the light. So, this is a 25 and a half inch length neck uh, playing at G. <laughs> It's a great, great banjo. The other thing I, you know, I, I'm using one of my crazy tall bridges here. So I now have uh, two banjos that are. I mean, they're all, all I want to play is, is this thing. Uh, I have this one, and then over here, the same idea with a shorter neck. And again, this is the Strat Junior neck. So this is uh, 22 and a half inches, I, I think. I'd have to go look to make sure, but... And this one is a nice old uh, 1920s Bruno pot and but again all, all these are is you know a nice simple piece of leather um, Nile got strings and a lot of uh, distance <laughs>
how do you get so much tone out of almost nothing? So wouldn't it be nice if guys like uh, Gold Tone and, oh, you know, Deering would just make a nice wide neck. No, no, um, uh, tone ring needed on, you know, maybe a maple pot. And, uh. It's, I think there's a whole batch of Nile Gut players that would go crazy for having, uh, you know, a nice simple banjo with not much to it. Anyway, that's that's my interest. Okay, all the very best, everybody, and another huge thank you to uh, Dave Oaks for keeping my life just completely and utterly entertained. You know, it's we're we're doing acoustic experiment after acoustic experiment, and it just couldn't be any more joyful. Okay, all the best, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Look at that neck. That just couldn't be any nicer. Okay, all the best.